that we all know that in order to achieve the success, we have to know what kind of steps that we have to take, right? We don't just drift along and wait until the wave comes in and then waiting our success. That's not going to happen. So we have to know, understand, and not just fully understand, but we have to take action in this eight step to success. So I'm going to start with this. The starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep this constantly in mind. Weak desire bring weak results. Just like a small fire make a small amount of heat. This quote was from Napoleon Hill. So we have to understand that we have to have what kind of desire of our achievement or our success in anatomy. If we only have a weak desire, we only have a weak results. We have to have a huge like burning fire to get the strong results. So I want to um, start with the first one, which is the dream building, right? If you can imagine what kind of dream, take a moment, let's all close our eyes and we just imagine what kind of a balanced life that you want to take, right? You imagine what kind of life, what kind of a story of your life that you want to create and you draw into your life, right? You can open your eyes, right? And write down your dreams. Before that, you must have the desire to achieve the dreams. Why you are doing anatomy, right? What kind of achievement that you want to, to make in order to be to your dreams. So imagine if you are sitting in a, a cinema, you are actually the director. You are the main character. You are an architect. You create, you plan what kind of goals that you want to be in your life, right? Without these goals, you are just like drifting. Imagine if you've been to Niagara Falls just one time, and the second time you want to go there without the GPS, what's going to happen? It could take you hours. Maybe the next day you got there, right? But if you have a GPS that you put in the, the address of exactly where you want to go, then the GPS will set up the routes for you. Those are the goals. Those are the goals that we want to create in our life. We're the director. Let's say you want the freedom. What kind of freedom do you want? Freedom is not just being somewhere whenever you want, right? Freedom is the ability to choose who you want to help, what you want to do. There's no restriction in what you're doing. Those are freedoms, in my opinion, right? So if you have that kind of freedom, you can help other people. You must have your financial independence before you help other people. So those are the goals or the dream that you want to create. So create the goals, small goals, daily goals, weekly goals, mainly monthly goals that brings you closer to your dreams. You can just jump to three steps to your dreams. No, you have to take it one step at a time. Then you play this out like a movie over and over again. Why is that? Because you want your subconscious mind cannot distinguish if this is just an imagination or this is a reality. Before a reality happens in your life, you have to have an imagination because brain doesn't know between the reality and the imagination. Imagine if you are in a church or a big building, do you think that's all of a sudden it's just gonna be built? No, there must be an architect or does, there must be a person or a group that imagine what kind of building they want to build. Where's the uh, auditorium? Where's the kitchen? Where's the washroom, right? They have to create that in their imagination and they make a plan. They draw it up and then they build it. They take action. So everything has to be first imagined. That's the first step to success, dream building. The next step is what, what I think is, this is very important. Without this, you're not gonna go to the next step, not even to the last step, which is the eighth step, right? Be proactive about the choices that you make. Remember, you are the, you are the director, you are in control, right? Don't listen to people around you. Some people say, no, this is not possible. Atomy is not the way out, right? This is just another MLM, another network marketing, right? These people will try to bring you down because they didn't succeed or they failed. It's their choice, right? 
but you have to make your own choice. This is my business. You are in control in your business, right? If you open your own store, would you let somebody take control of your business? No, you will make all the decision. Either it's good, either it's bad, it's wrong. We have to make mistakes, we have to make failures in life, right? In order to succeed to the next step. Just be remembered that we have to be proactive about the choices that we make. We are in control in our situation. And also the second one is, which is very important, be positive in your thought about each situation that you encounter, right? I like the saying like this, everybody faces failure and defeats, but it will become a stepping stone or a stumbling block depending, depending on your mindset or your mental attitude. So we're not gonna face like a walk in the park journey anatomy, right? We found problems and then we find difficulties in growing our business. So our mindset, our mental attitude will determine how things go for the next step. So you have to be positive in every situation. If you think that you are sharing anatomy and someone just rejected you because they said, I'm fine with the product that I'm using, right? And I don't need extra income. Don't get discouraged because that's their decision, not your decision. Your decision is to share to them regardless their situation because everyone's situation will change. Maybe now they don't need hemo him. Who knows down the road, somebody in their lives or them, themselves need hemo him for their health, right? Then they, they can remember, oh, Mike shared about hemo him for my diabetic, right? Maybe I should try. The situation changes, then people will come to you. So don't be discouraged, don't be negative if somebody rejects you. Re rejection is every day, right? We have to face rejection every day. Without rejection, re there's no fuel for us to go further. So your mental attitude will determine many, many things. And the third one is be determined, be determined to change. Because there's a saying that there is no pain, no gain, right? We have to give up something in order to gain something. Just speaking and understanding the knowledge doesn't bring you success. You have to make the decision that you want your success in your life. You want to give up things that you used to do, but not bringing you closer to your dreams. For example, I like to watch Netflix, right? Who, who doesn't? <laughs> When I watch Netflix, I could watch like hours and hours. And all that I know, sure that I know that I already wasted four hours in my life. Will that four hours that I wasted watching Netflix bring me closer to my dreams? No, I'm just standing of where I am, right? But if I'm going out, meeting friends, educating my partners, downlines about the products, about the system, I'm wasting four hours does it bring it to my, closer to my success? Yes, it does. So I have to give up what I used to like to chase something that I don't like for now, right? Well, I don't like sharing to people, right? Who likes sh uh, sharing four hours to, to your friend, family, but enemy? It's tiring, right? You got rejection. You rather watch on, uh, Netflix sitting on the couch, drinking hot coffee, right? It's, it's better, but we have to give up something in order to gain that puzzle of your success. The next one, the fourth one is the enemy success system. You have to understand first that the enemy system works for you. If you don't understand this system, then how can you encourage others to understand? There's no money required, right? In order to start enemy business. You don't have to have knowledge in starting Atomy business. You can grow in the business with Atomy, with all your partners, your downlines. And you don't even need experience in MLM, right? If you do have experience, that's great, but it's not a requirement in order to start the Atomy business. Why we're all here? Because we are not just aiming for $70 paycheck, right? We are not aiming for $2,000 a month paycheck, no. You are aiming for $50,000 $50, per month income in Atomy. 
So it is not easy, but it is possible. It is actually the easiest business of $50,000 a month that you can achieve because there's no requirement in order to be successful in anatomy, right? See, Johan Gil Park said, everyone can succeed in anatomy, but not everyone will. Why? Because you have to understand first, why do you have to succeed in anatomy? Why do you have to make money in anatomy? Is it for you or is it for your loved ones or is it for your children that you want inherit to your grandchildren, right? Set that first in your mindset before you commit to make the change in anatomy. And then also you try the products. We have 400 different kind of anatomy products. Well, our CEO doesn't say, hey, you have to use all our 400 different kind of products. No, try every one of them until you find the one that you think this is the tool that I'm going to share to other people. If you haven't found the value, the benefit, go to the next product, right? If you don't cut, if you don't like the shampoo, you have the toothpaste. If you don't have the, if you don't like the toothpaste, we have toothbrush, we have skincare, we have hemohem supplements, right? Keep trying until you find this is the one. Until you find the one, it's very hard to share your experience because you're only sharing experience from others people, not from yours, right? It's just simply tell the people about your experience. Then the next step is, the third one is, you create the list. What is the list? This is the list of your prospects. Most of us think that, oh, don't worry, I don't need to create a list, right? I know all of them in my mind. But when you ask them, hey, have you shared add me to your friends, families? And then they might come back to you, um, I don't, have, I don't know anyone actually. I only know this one or two, right? Because you have to make the list of those prospects. So you're not categorizing, okay, these are the lists that I think they're gonna use Hemohem. These are the lists that I think they're gonna use the toothpaste, toothbrush, and you categorize them based on the products or these are the, the lists that are gonna do the business with me. No, that's wrong. You create the list of everyone regardless their situation, regardless if they have money or not, if they have um, financial or not, right? You create them, the list of them. Because anatomy business was made by our founder CEO, Hangul Park, it's not for just a group of people. It is for everyone. People who are less fortunate who doesn't have money, people who have uh, fortunate who have money, obviously you can purchase the products. This is for everyone. Even a person that only use one product, this is for them. This is the business for them. So don't prejudge your prospects. If you think, oh, I think John or Joe will not use the Hemohem, I think I'm not gonna share it to him because it's, it's useless. I just want to share Hemohem, right? This is wrong. You have to create and share to everyone. Then the second one is you continue to add the list. Once you finish all the lists, what's gonna happen? You sit down with your downlines, with your members, your partners, and then work on their list. Let's say I have 50 people in my list, right? And I have my downline, Audit. Let's say Audit has 100 lists. So me combined with Audit list, we have 150 new prospect lists, right? So I work on those. You work with your downline as well. So you continue to add the list. When all that get another partners, you work on their part, their list again. You add them to your list. So if you do this anatomy business right, you will not finish your contact list. Your list will keep growing and growing. You will be busy, actually very busy. You are working, you're helping your downlines, creating the list. You're following up with them. And the third one is, this is what I like you use the three meter rule. What that means is wherever you are, whenever there's a, a person, individual, within that three meters of you, you share about the enemy, right? Some of us, we are doing this full time, it's great. Some of us, we are doing this enemy business part time, it's great, it's fine. It doesn't matter who you, if you're doing it full time, part time, right? but your mindset has to be full-time in anatomy. Right? You can be doing it part-time, just like me, 
right? I only do it part-time because I'm still working as a full-time, but my mindset is a full-time. Whenever I see people within my three meters, I share about it. Either it's about the business, about the products, anything that I can share. I can open my mouth and talk about the enemy. You have to put that mindset, right? So be proactive. Then the fourth step is you share the vision. You invite them. Once you have the prospect list, you want them to know more about the enemy, right? You share either the products, the testimony that you experience, right? Or the company vision that you already know. If you haven't known, it's okay. You can invite the prospect, you know, invite to your, your home and listen to VODs, right? There are hundreds of VODs in our channel academy. Or you can invite them to a Zoom meeting like this. When you invite them, I'm doing the presentation on behalf of you. I'm explaining about the enemy vision or other leaders will explain about the products. So all they can listen about the product and the company vision. So you invite them, you share about the vision. You can invite them or have them listen about the product lecture, right? We have the one day seminar. Everything is online right now. It's even better, right? People can listen while they're cooking before. No, you have to drive an hour, two hours to a seminar. Now you can share the link. We have almost every week, right? Either in Canada, USA, every part of the world. We have this online seminar almost every day. Then what's the VODs? What is the VODs? You can Google CEO Hangil Park VODs. When I started, I learned a lot from his VODs. It's actually his VODs changed my mindset. Before I was very skeptical. I was very negative about enemy Because of his VOD, it changed my mindset about enemy, right? So share about the vision. This is the fourth step in success in enemy. Then the next step is the number five, you show the plan. You have to know what is our company stands for, right? The principle, what is our principle? You have to know the information about the comp company. Tell them about the company introduction. And we also have the very low expense in running the company, right? And if you know, if you remember, before we only have 30 set of him or him back in 2006, right? But enemy every time increases the success, 48, 54 success, and then 60 success up until now, not even a single penny increase in the price. Because these are the company that wants that everyone that can enjoy the products of enemy, low price, highest quality, right? You show them the plan. Then the second one is our products is a mastite. What is a mastite? It's a prestigious product created for the mass. It means all daily necessities products that you can buy either in Walmart, Costco. You just switch them either from buying from the outside into the enemy online store. And our products are prestigious. It means the highest quality possible with the price. Then the third one, you show them about the compensation plan. How do you make money in enemy? How can you earn income, right? Because most of us here, we want to make extra income, residual income, that while we sleep, that income still come to our bank account. And our binary system is unlimited level. What is unlimited level means? It means regardless who they are, who they prospected, or who the sponsor is, when they make the purchase, you get their group PVs. You accumulate their PVs, point value. And our ID is a Google One server ID. It means our ID is not limited just Canada, just Philippines, right? Just USA, no. We are in Canada, we can have members in Philippines, USA, Japan, Singapore, Indonesia, all over the world. This is a Global One ID, right? If they ask you, what is Global One ID server? If you don't understand, learn. Ask your sponsor, right? What's the VODs? There are so many things to learn. Educate yourself about this plan, the company plan. And the last one, the fourth one is the most important one, part is the vision. What is the admin vision? If I ask you, what is the admin company vision? You probably say cheap products? No. The admin company vision is we want to make consumer success. 
what is consumer success? Why didn't I say distributor success? In other network marketing company, they will say distributor success because they're the mindset of the business people. It's normal for distributor success. But in enemy, customer success, this, that's actually extraordinary, right? Customer who are just using the product but become successful. That's the vision in enemy. And also, we want to be the largest distribution hub in the world. That's the enemy vision. And the third enemy vision is we want to change the stigma of the network marketing. We want to be the pioneer that changed the history of network marketing. So you have to understand the vision. You show them our vision. Once you show them our vision, the company vision, they can relate. Maybe this is my own vision, right? Maybe this is my own uh, purpose in life, right? I want to be part of this vision, right? So show them the plan. This is the fifth step of success in enemy. Then the next step is following up. You make sure to see how your consumer and your partners are doing. It doesn't mean once you sell one him or him to your consumer, that's it. You think, oh, I've done my work. I think I won, I won the, <laughs> the race in order to introduce him or her about him or him. And when they make the purchase, you think that's it. No, it doesn't stop there. You follow up, you check with them after two days, three days, a week. How are you doing? How are you doing with the him or him? Is there any benefit that you, uh, you experience after taking him or him, you know? After using the toothpaste, toothbrush, you follow up with them. Don't just sell once and forget. Same thing with showing the plan, showing the vision. Don't just tell them once and assume they will know everything. They usually say, I know, I know, because they don't like to be explaining to you, right? So you, you guide them again and you ask them again. You just show them again. Maybe the second time you show them, oh, they learned something new. So do not just think that they know already after you tell them once. Keep following up. Keep checking up with your consumer and your partners. Remember, consumer is your basis of your business. Without your consumer, you have nothing. You have no revenues. Without partners in your lineage, you are nothing. You cannot grow your business without your partners. So follow up with this consumer and partners regularly. Then the seventh step is you consult and you communicate either to your sponsor, your upline, your leaders, whoever it is, you consult and you communicate, right? So let me say this. At one point, we all will be a leader. What is a leader? You have one on the left, one on the right, right? You lead these two people. Those are leaders, right? Because you are leading these two people to achieve their success. So you may be sales master, diamond master, right? Sharon Rose, whatever it is, you will get this question regardless. The first one is, I don't know many people. I don't know anyone to register, right? What's wrong with this question? So this question means these people doesn't know how to make contact lists. So what do you do? You sit with them and you tell them, you go through their phone books, you know, the smartphone, you go to their phone books, you check, do you have a WhatsApp group, right? In the WhatsApp group, you must have somebody in there. Kakao Talk, you must have somebody in there, right? In Facebook Messenger, you must have somebody in there. You create the list. Don't group them, remember? Don't prejudge them. Don't categorize them into uh, certain groups. You just make the list regardless, right? Once they see, oh, at least I have 10, that's better. Before you have zero, right? Now you have 10, 10 new people. So you work with this list. Add them to your list. You help them. You help them share about the company, the products, the vision, Wait. right? Then the second one is, the question is, I have registered many people, but there's no revenue, right? This graveyard. You have zero PVs in your limits. Right? What happened to this question? It means you only share about the Atomy vision. Hey, come join me. I just, I just started a new business that will make you residual income. Zero dollars to start. No risk. All you have to do, just give me your ID. I'll sign it up. Right? People will sign up because there is no money involved. Right? But what happened after they sign up? 
there is no purchase. Zero. When you see all the PVs, there are zero. Zero revenues. So what's wrong with this? Yes, you have to understand about the vision. You share. If you don't know how to share about the vision, invite them. Remember that's the step? You invite them to listen about the, the enemy vision. Once they understand the vision, they will, they will um, sorry, once they understand the products, they will make the purchase, right? I think I, I got mixed up with the third one, right? The third one is I'm having trouble reg registering people. It means you're only sharing about the vision. So people will see the vision, they will register, but there's no revenue. Right? Then the, the, I'm going back to the second one. So I have registered many, but no revenue. It means you never share about the products. All you share is about the vision, 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 but you never share about the experience of the product. So they don't want to try the products, right? The products create the revenues. If the, the members never purchase the product, there's no revenues. Easy as that, right? Then the fourth one is, I have many registered people. I have registered many people, but it's stagnant. It means it's not going, it's not growing anywhere. It's just staying at the same spot. Let's say you're a sales master, that's it. You're just sales master. You're not getting as auto sales master, diamond master. What's wrong with that? So that means is, you're only willing to share enemy to certain people. Let's say, you only want to share enemy because you're a full-timer. You only want to share to full-timer people, right? You only want to share to people who use him or him, right? Or you want to share to people who use absolute skincare, right? So you're limiting your growth in your group. So what's going to happen? Your partners, your downline will mimic what you're doing, right? Because monkey see, monkey do. They'll see the leaders doing that. They'll do it. If if you're not sharing to everyone, remember, this business is for everyone. It regardless their financial status, this is for everyone. So don't limit your groups to grow. Share to everyone. This is number four. And number five is no need to make the same mistakes. Right? We've done enemy maybe a year ahead of our partners. You've found some mistake that you made, failures that you made. You educate your partners, your downline about the mistake that you've done. Right? For the very easiest is some example is how you register people. People, uh, people think that, okay, if I have three people, I just put one on the left, the second one on the right, the third one on the left, right? You just balance them, but that's wrong, right? If you know it's wrong, you tell them, don't do that. And if they ask why, you, have, you already know why, right? If you want to understand this, you can learn ask your sponsor about registering new members. So don't make the same mistake as you did. And the sixth one, the last one is, if you didn't ask, assume you don't know. If your partners, your downlines never ask any question, don't just assume they know. You ask them. You are proactive asking them. Don't wait until they ask, right? So follow all these six, and I think, and I believe your group will grow. And the last step, which I think is very important, you duplicate and you repeat. You teach them. Once you're there, you bring everyone up. You teach them, one of them, every one of them. Have them replicate yourself because eventually your group is gonna grow, right? From 10 people to 100 people, to 100 people to 1,000 people, 1,000 people to 10,000 people, right? If you don't know how to manage these people like a small group, if you don't duplicate yourself within that small groups, it'll be very hard to manage when you're at 10,000 level, right? So go through each step one to seven and you help your partners because a tree can only be as good as the seed it came from, right? If you want to have a tree that's fruitful, you have to make a good seed out of it, right? You plant it, you water it, you nurture it, right? You give nutrition every day. So same thing with our downline, our partners. You have to nutrition them. You have to teach them patiently. It takes time, it's fine. So what I want you to do is this. Imagine what kind of partners that you are dreaming one day that you'll be 
on your lineage, right? Of course, a partner that can recruit 100 people a month, right? I want that, don't you? Or a partner that can sell 300,000 PV every day, right? A partner that attends all the seminars, regardless their situation, either they're busy or not, they always attend. A partner who listens to you, right? Consult to you every day on a daily basis. Make a list. You can make all kinds of lists that you want your dream partners to be, right? Once you have that list, what's you gonna do? You become that person first. Because what happened? Your partners, your downline will see that you are the man that you become. Then they're gonna imitate, then they're gonna duplicate yourself into your lineage. So my last word is this. Enemy business is hard, right? Nothing, there's no business is easy, right? So be positive in all situation. Be positive. Either it's a rejection, right? Be positive. Take it positively. Thinking this is a, a stepping stone for you to go to the next step. Don't prejudge on any situation, right? Don't think, oh, I think it's not going to work. Or that person is not going to buy him or him. Or that person is not going to join. No, don't prejudge. Keep sharing. Because your mouth is your store. If you have your store, would you close, would you open just like one day a week? No. You want your store to open seven days a week. If you can, maybe 24-7, 24 hours a day, right? Don't worry if other people succeed faster. You may see your downline get to sales master, diamond master faster than you. It's okay. Everyone's pace is different. So do not worry about other people's success. And aim for auto sales master. Because once you reach the auto sales master, your income will grow exponentially, right? Once you do that, all these seven steps, and they duplicate the edge step, you are one step closer to your dream. I'm going to close with this. Yeah, this is the eight step to success. You want to take a picture. Once you reach the eight step, you just flip it one to seven, and then you educate your partners and members. I'm going to close with this. This is my <laughs> favorite picture of our Adam, CEO, Han Gil Park. Everyone can succeed in anatomy, but not everyone will. Think about it. Anatomy is for everyone. Yes, everyone will. Everyone can succeed in anatomy, but not everyone will. So who will succeed in anatomy? Those people who do the system. The one that from step one to step eight, over and over again. Those are the ones that will succeed in anatomy. Thank you, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.